Oh, that's right. The president of Seattle Police Officers Guild says it's clear that the mayor is on the right path with his public safety response so far, especially because of his commitment to hire more officers. As Seattle and King County deal with a rise in violent crime, two unions are standing together, united behind one mission. And that is to address our region's alarming public safety crisis that is impacting every one of us. Last month, Seattle Police Officers Guild President Mike Solon wrote an open letter to Mayor Harrell saying public safety is at a tipping point. Today, he's applauding the mayor for his commitment to hire more officers. And mayor Harrell is on the right path. He recognizes we need more cops. He just promised it the other day. We need to get back up to 1,400 cops. Right now, we're under 900. Law enforcement everywhere is in a, a crisis for staffing. Cameron Leffler, a former sergeant, says he was just shy of 29 years with the King County Sheriff's Office when he left due to the county's COVID vaccine policy. He cited a religious reason for not getting vaccinated. He requested an accommodation, but today he's no longer with the county. Just involuntary separation. In a statement, a spokesperson with the county executive's office says the employee vaccine mandate is to protect the workforce and community, and that more than 94% of the sheriff's office employees are following the requirement. Leffler argues that deputies with decades of experience have left. We're getting rid of the best. And yeah, that's what really breaks my heart. Solon says Seattle lost about 40 officers because of the vaccine mandate. If we're serious about staffing, getting us up to 1,400 cops, well, let's bring those other cops back who have been dismissed. And Solon says it will take 10 years at a minimum to get the four staff to where it should be with trained officers. Part of the reason for that, Seattle police has lost hundreds of officers in the last couple of years and police departments across the country are short staffed and competing to hire new hires as well as lateral. Live tonight in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.